Hey everybody, how are we doing right now? It's your boy Angel here coming at you another game of My Child's Love and Sporn. So, uh, we're gonna pick this up where we left off. Uh, we have a new chapter and we did the last one very nicely. I think I handled that kind of well. I don't know, sometimes I make a lot of mistakes. But that comes with the hazard of raising a child that is going through a very rough time. Now we're in spring. It, it's spring. Hey, Karen. How are you? I'm great. Mr. Berg lets me go home 15 minutes before everyone else. That way, I can avoid the bullies. We're fooling the bullies, huh? <laughs> he, <laughs> that's nice of him. Stupid bullies. Still, nice job outsmarting them. That's good. Keep avoiding them. You know what? We'll, we'll just have fun with it. Yep. We get along so well. We got mail. Oh yeah, so for those of you that didn't watch the last video, um, we ended up were able to, we were able to get in contact with uh, some of Karen's family members, uh, specifically her aunt, who is uh, wants us to hop on a train and visit the uh, grandparents, so we can learn a little bit more about her father and so on and so forth. Because it's she doesn't have any connection with you know her parents. You are her adopted parent unfortunately and she asks you hey well it's not unfortunately it's a blessing but unfortunately she wants to know more about her family so uh we promised this little bundle of joy here that we would learn anything we could even if it was going to hurt her and tell her the truth let's feed her here's some porridge sweetheart nom 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 all right let's see here oh and, yep. baloney Baloney on, I don't know, rye. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Let's wash you up, sweetheart. Let's do a different hairstyle. Bam. No, I don't like that. Let's go. Uh, there we go. We'll go with the one braid. Off to school. We go to work. Now, for those of you that don't know, there's a day-night cycle, and during each period, they give you options to do like overtime, home, and you have like two action points every time, except for when you go to bed, you only have one action to do one thing. So if I say if I wanted to go home, I still have two left. Welcome home. They were preparing for May. S what? They were preparing for May 17th today, our Constitution Day. Soon everyone will, be, will everyone will, soon everyone will be celebrating and walking in, in the parade. The school has its own spot in the parade. Hey, maybe maybe we should get some flags. Have they said anything about the school schedule that day? Already May 17th isn't for another two weeks, which is true. It's May 5th. I'm very concerned. Mainly because, um, again, your child is half Norwegian and half German, and given the fact that uh, this this takes place after World War II, so hostility tension is very high. Norway was occupied by Germany, and uh, during that during that occupy during during the time period where they were occupied, Nor Norway wasn't very fond of Germans. So you know, and the, given the fact that this is right after World War II. Tensions, like I said, are very high, so I don't know really if it's gonna be safe because your child is being very, very severely bullied, and they're very innocent in all this, you know, uh, like really, really innocent. Um, but supportive parent here, you know what? Let's let's, let's rise up against the uh, the bullying and say, you know what? Let's be loud and proud, no matter what the hell. We we're Norwegian citizens, just like they are. Let's get some flags, baby girl. We should. I'm really looking forward to the parade. Are, are you telling me you want fish? Okay, baby, hang on. Okay, um. Mm, okay, so let's, can we forge? Here we go, fishing. Okay, we can't do any of that. All right, let's go. One more. Okay. God, so much money goes to fucking food. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh, I almost forgot. 
I found this floating in the river. Maybe we can make something with it. What is, what is the baby girl? Mm. Need some food. Right, let's see here. Uh, what'd she find? Oh, she found some lumber. It takes about four days to make something, though. Uh, screw it. Screw it, why not? Oh, she's tired. And you're kind of dirty, too. Uh, let's do this real quick. Let's put her to bed. Mr. P Mr. Perk helps me avoid the bullies. That's great to hear. Just focus on the positive. Absolutely. I will. Can you read me a story? Uh, I'll leave it tomorrow. Yeah. So we're going to be clicking like crazy and trying to get through this. I really want to open up the mail. Maybe something came back from the aunt. Yes. Hi again. Please come. <clears throat> hi. Hi again. Da ha, damn it. I can't get the voice down. I'm very bad at voices. I'm sorry. Bear with me. Hi again. Hi again. Please come visit May 5th. May 10th. Damn it. Hi again. Please come visit May 10th. I've closed train tickets for you and are looking forward to seeing you. Uh, seeing you both soon. And yeah, this is just some stupid shit. Probably. Let's see here. Uh, an attempt to increase the amount of wood shot before next winter. Swedish authorities have decided that, ye, that anyone shopping more than 15 cubic meters of wood in their spare time will be allowed to buy 250g more coffee than regular... What? Okay. Don't really care about that. I don't drink coffee anyways. <laughs> Good morning. My goodness, baby girl, you, you need to... Neighborhood Council. We must warn you, we do not wish to see the traitor child at... Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. Our precious Constitution Day... Uh, stay away if you know what's best for you. Yeah. That's fucked. You know what? You're gonna act like we didn't see a damn thing. Uh, you know, baby girl. First things first. You gotta, get, you, you gotta get in the bathtub. There we go. Okay. Um. There we go. All right, go to school. Daddy needs to think. I'm, I'm not too happy about what I just read, to be honest. It does kind of irk me. Because it's me, like, what the fuck? Oh, I'm glad- Oh, I'm glad you're home. Everybody at school is talking about May 17th parade. It'll be so exciting. Do we have any flags? Are you sure you want to go to the parade? I don't know if that's a good idea. We won't be attending the parade, Karen. So I love how immediately... Um, the first instinct that the game has is to basically protect your child. Um, I don't, I mean, it's just like one of those things, but I want to, you know what, we're just going to go ahead and go with the first option, just see if they really want to go. I do, I do. I'll put in my, I'll put on my nice clothes and wear flags. Maybe I can wear a ribbon. I don't know if that's a good idea. We won't be attending the parade, Karen. Maybe we can quickly swing by. No, you know what? I don't I don't like it cuz I actually want to attend mainly cuz I want to say fuck you to the people that don't want my child around. I just don't know which one is a good answer. What to say? Maybe we could swing by? Okay, I guess that, that was the wrong answer. What do you mean? What do you mean? We can't stay for a, a whole parade? Why not? 
It gets boring. Maybe we should avoid it altogether. Do you remember the mean people we talked about? It gets boring? No, I'm not gonna say that. Yeah, we'll go with this. Oh. I remember. It might not be safe there. Some of them think you're different. It's easier to avoid them if we don't go. It, it might- yeah, I'm gonna say it's not- it might not be safe there. That's unfair. Uh, my kid's heart- my heart- her heart just constantly gets harder. I'm so glad that there's not like a gauge I, I can look at. Cause like, the amount of times where her- she gets hardened is uh, pretty bad. Not good at talking to a child. <laughs> What the freaking hell is that? You wanna explain that one to me, kid? I can't I can't figure out the psychology behind that one. Bam. Um on that again. Alright, I wanna go to bed. I know you do, sweetheart. Let's, let's go to bed. So we're going to be going through this as fast as we can. Uh, story before sleep, you know what, of course, why not? I don't have any mail to open up. Alright. Last video I think I made that was like 58 minutes long. That wasn't terrible. Good morning! Okay, baby girl. Eat up, sweetheart. Now what the hell is this? Oh yeah, she's gotta go to school. I forgot school's a thing. It's like 260 right now. Overtime. Nope. Okay, never mind. Let's go ahead. Boom, boom, boom. Welcome home. Mr. Berg says I can go to the parade. Hey, he says he can look out for me. Mr. Berg is really, really is nice. Karen, we're Karen, we're not wanted there. That is so true. I told you that we can't go. Or she, can you? Should you? Yeah, yeah, we go with that. He is. So can we go? Can we go? Please. Karen, we're we're not wanted there. You know, like I said, fuck those guys. Wow, it would be nice. There we go. Okay, you know, let's play ball. Let's just raise my child's happiness a little bit. Okay, and let us feed her. God, I feel like a shitty parent sometimes. I'm sleepy. I know, sweetheart. I know. There, go to bed. There. Uh, and moving tomorrow. Okay, and let's go here. Hey, we made a boat. Okay. Skillful craftsman. Yeah. Good night. Take me to the river is the achievement we just got. Hello! End of the letter. Probably nothing important. The mail is here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know it is. Alright, calm down. Can we I want to go to the forest. God. I've done a lot for my ch for the you know for the, my child in this game where I've made sure they're fed, I've made sure that they're clothed, um, try to make sure they understand like the way the world is kind of messed up and cruel. Okay, you know what? Screw just jump in the fucking bath. <laughs> okay, you're good. 
can I get a flag? Sure, if they're uh, sure if they're nice, maybe we can't afford it. No, screw it. Nice, thank you. Terribly sorry if my voices keep changing. Do the overtime, I need more money. Oh, you're finally home. It's okay, yeah, you know what, let's go to bed, sweetheart, I'm sorry. You said you would buy me a flag if I was nice. I was being nice all day. I'm sorry, Karen, I forgot. Oh crap, was I supposed to buy that? Was I supposed to buy that today? Can I still buy her a flag? I didn't know she needed that today. Oh shit, <laughs> fuck. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh my god, it's only like the 8th. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can buy a flag. Let's see. Okay, uh... Okay, sweetheart, we gotta change your clothes. You don't look great right now here, bam. Can I go with this? Uh, I'll go with that. Okay, um... Okay, uh, go on. Flag. Get a, get a car. It was a flag. Bam! Alright, get off my case, kid. Uh, I wanna sneeze so bad right now. I spoil the hell out of my child. <laughs> you bought me a flag. Here you go, little one. Be careful with it, okay? I will be careful. Thank you. Okay, we gotta eat before you go to school, before you try to take you away from me. <laughs> I don't know what was, like, the laws back then about, like, you know... I don't know if there was much of a DCFS, you know, back then after, you know, during World War II versus nowadays. Okay. Mm, why do we keep going to your room? Oh, yeah, that's right, because this is your room. <laughs> Can I blow off work? Yeah, we got 260. Let's go home. Hey, how was your day? Um, we're going on a trip tomorrow. Hey, Karen, do you like trains? Wow! I love trains. They go really, really fast. They go choo-choo. Hee <laughs> It's so great. Uh, I guess... And guess who gets to ride a train tomorrow? We'll visit your grandparents and aunt. We get to ride a train. Come on. That's... That is amazing! Oh my god. Trains go so, so fast. I can't wait for tomorrow now. Yeah, I, mean, I think I can. Sure, yeah, let's clean you up, kid. Okay. How fast can it go? Can a train go? Uh, I'm not sure. Pretty fast. <laughs> but we sit at the very front. I don't think passengers get to sit in the very front. Oh, because the train driver has to sit right there, right? That's okay. We can sit anywhere you want. Will we ride in... In it for a minute? For an hour? For days? Uh, just a few hours. <laughs> it would be so amazing. Wait. Will we ride in the train back? Wait, will, will, will we ride the train back home too? I'm sorry, Dad. I'm just, I'm just very excited. <laughs> yes, we will. Turbo train ride. Shoo, shoo, choo, choo. <laughs> we will go super, super... We'll, uh, we will go at super speed. Hey, hey, how many wheels does a train have? I bet it has a lot. Okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's okay. We can count them tomorrow. I'm going to go draw a train. I wonder how many wheels it's us, uh, I should draw. Okay, my child's really excited. She's really excited for trains. Okay, kid, calm down, alright. Sweetheart. Sweetheart, you need to eat. All right. Um, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10? Uh, no. 10? Yeah, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, well, like 20? Uh, I guess. Time to spend, uh, time to spend time together. Oh, nothing. You can draw. Yeah, no. Oh, okay. Uh, can we? Uh, see, so I keep, so just to show you guys. I keep clicking out here because you can go fishing here, and then you can also like forage for food out here. Meaning that you can go ahead and harvest berries and flower, or uh, not flowers, but like uh, berries and uh, mushrooms to save yourself some money. It's like god dang, I'm on a freaking budget right now, girl. We can't afford, you know, good shit like that. The fuck. <coughs> Sorry about that. Is it true the trains are super heavy? It's because of all the passengers, right? Sometimes they even have cargo. What does that mean? Cargo? It's different, uh, it's different items that trains transport. Like food and stuff? Yep, food, tools, all kinds of things. Trains are the best. Alright, sweetheart, let's go to bed. Do you think trains will be, do you think the train will be red? I have seven. That would be one incredible train. Can you read me the story I like? Of course. Yay, thank you. Once upon a time, there was a tree and a boy, okay? And the boy was very needy, was always asking the tree for stuff. The tree was uh, the tree was always giving the boy things, not realizing that the tree needed to learn how to say stop, enough is enough, okay? Good night. <laughs> Go to the parade. It's the tent. What the hell are you talking about? Hey, aren't you excited about the train trip? The train will be super fun, but... Where are we going? We're going to go visit your grandparents and aunt. Gasp! I mean... <gasps> I have grandparents? Why didn't you say so before? Are they nice? What if they don't like me? If they don't like you, they're not worth our time. So fucking true. I'm nervous. It'll be f it'll be fine. You'll be safe with me. We'll take we'll take them and we'll take we'll talk to them and see. I'll be there with you. I'm I'm sure they're nice people. No, nah, we'll go with that. Okay. All right. First things first, baby girl. We gotta eat. Just mm. play ball before we go to the train. Time to go, isn't it? I'll be right back. Okay, I'm ready. That's what that's what you want to. No, no. <laughs> Screw that. You're wearing this. <laughs> Who told you you could change? Dang it! I like the outfit you had on. Whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, the nice tram. I like. So I, the one thing I like about this game is how it's drawn and the storytelling is very done very very well. And I like how this is very nicely done. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! I've never been on a train before. This is so amazing. Look at the trees. Oh, Gudrid. Do you see who that is? Look at the buildings. I think that's the German brat, the Nazi sympathizer. Oh, and the Nazi sympathizer. Are you talking shit about me, motherfucker? Oh, really? Now that you say it, they do look familiar. They just swoop by. To think they let them on the train together with the decent people. To even let them stay in the country. What do you th what do you think of those Nazi rats? What do you what do you think those Nazi rats will do once they grow up? Eh? Oh my! Yes, it's terrifying when you think about it. Worst case scenario, they're conspire to take over the country again. Oh no. We'll be there. We'll be there in no time. And the best case, they'll be. C and the best case, they'll become criminals. I'm sorry, darling. I can't get my words out. I've read. I read that there are about 
80% likely of being mentally retarded because of their genes. Oh, damn. Mm, yes, the report was written by a well-renowned psychologist, too, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. There's no way that those impaired children could amount to anything at all. Other than criminals? Oh, I think they might hear us. Who cares? Let them hear. I could spit on them, too. <laughs> but it's not worth any... Worth my precious time. So you're just gonna sit... I'm just sitting right across from you. You're gonna talk a whole bunch of shit, ma'am? Okay, fuck you. Where's the... Where's the thing... Uh, where's the button to, like, slap a bitch real quick? <laughs> let's talk about... Let's talk about something more pleasant. Do you hear that king... That the king might actually come to visit? Yes, I heard that the queen... Gossip, gossip, gossip. That's my, uh... Onomatopoeia for gossiping, by the way. <laughs> We should travel by train all the time. Zoom. <laughs> Trains are, gr are great. Choo choo. Haha. <laughs> oh, they're here. Oh, they're here. Come in. They're here. Meet your grandchild. That's probably the aunt talking. Uh, I'm assuming this is the aunt. No, that's the aunt. That's the grandma, maybe? And this is the grandpa? I'm just, you know, I'm just assuming. Oh, it's so nice for, y for us all to be together like this. Oh, this is the aunt. Look, I feel tension like a motherfucker right now. Um, so... <laughs> so, yeah, it's usually my go-to thing. You've got a nice place here? <laughs> is that the girl, then? Oh... Seems kind of shabby. Are you lazy girl? She's perfectly normal. Now look. What's that supposed to mean? Jesus Christ, my child looks so distressed. Fuck. Damn. She's perfectly normal. Are you doing well in school, girl? You're not slacking off, are you? Norwegians are hard worker. You're not s a simple people. We're not simple people, not like your kind. Mm. Mother, please don't say such things. Karen is doing great. She's even got special assignments. Karen is, bra is bright and hard working. Hey, who are you calling simple? Good about that. Special assignments, eh? Oh, I, was, <laughs> I gave the grandma a well, man's voice. She's getting uh, special treatment over there, then? Pearls before swine. Be nice. Cameron is doing great in class. Oh, get over yourselves. It's not like that. Karen, oh my God. I kind of want to just outlash, but it's I'm in somebody else's house. I'm sorry, I like, kind of have a tendency of like biting my tongue. I don't like setting things off in people's places. Um, Karen's doing great in class. I invited them, and you said you would be nice, and you would say you would try to be nice. Karen, you know you... You know you... You have... Oh, uh, wait, what? Karen, you know you have... You, you have your mother's eyes. Oh. You know she doesn't live too far from... Don't even think about going there. If this brat ever showed up there, sh they'd chop her head off. Are you people insane? She's just a child. Please, don't listen to them, Karen. Hey, look at us. Hey, look at us when we talk to you, girl. Haven't you Haven't you taught her any manners? What did, what did you expect? What did you expect? What's that? That's it. We're leaving. <laughs> This is the delicious meal. Oh, uh, you know, I was gonna go with that. Oh, not at all. I'm glad you like it. See, I'm gonna see if, uh, see if I can get myself a, uh, see if I can get my, my daughter a mama. Hey, you asked, uh, hey, he asked you a question. Hey, you, he, he asked you a question. I can't get the voices down, but I'm so sorry. Well, no wonder the girl doesn't have any damn manners. You know, I think I should just focus on the one person that's nice. We love it. I should take this, yeah. 
You should, it's a family recipe. I can give it to you. Like hell you will. Like hell you will. These people are trash, not family. Karen is your daughter's girl. Oh, so we met. Oh, I thought we were. Yeah, okay. That's right, that's right. We were meeting the. I thought we were meeting the dad's. The, the mom. The dad's side. But no, we don't know anything, nothing about the dad. It says he's German. So meeting the mom's side of the family. I don't know why I'm just realizing that. I feel like an idiot. Sorry. I'd love to have the recipe. Thank you. Karen is your daughter. It, Karen is your daughter's girl. Whether you like it or not. I'd love to have the recipe. Thank you. This idiot is ignoring us. Why, I've never got... Well, I've never... Get the hell out of here before I really lose my temper. Mother! It's okay. We'll be going. Calm down. You vile hag. <laughs> We're going. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? Let's just get the hell out of her. Out? Get out? I'm... I'm so sorry about that. They can be so difficult sometimes. They're usually not as people. But they've been so on edge about this. I thought they would come around once they saw Lizzo Karen. I don't know where to begin. They're horrible. It's okay. We're getting used to it. That, honest to God, we're, we're kind of just getting used to it. Look, I found these papers in my father's desk. Here, take them with you, please. Again, I'm so sorry for their behavior. You should be. Thank you. You've been very good to us. Don't mention it. Have a safe trip home. It was very nice to meet you, Karen. Aw, oh, don't be sad. We don't need those people. I'm so sorry you had to go through that experience. Hey, Karen, how about we do something fun tomorrow? Investigate. There's, there is information on the study about Karen's German family. Tell the blah 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 blah. blah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Let's eat first, and then I can do some investigation. Okay. Okay. It says here. Uh. <sighs> I'm. Okay, I was about to say, how the hell do you read this? What the fucking hell? Okay, the father is German. Okay, I am the mother of the child born. I am the mother of the child born on blah, blah, blah. I admit that I am not able to take care of the child as I should. Some time ago, I sent a child, of, child to the Lebensborn Children's Home. Okay, where German, German was the only spoken language. I asked the authorities arranged it so that the child can come to Norway Norwegian children's home to learn Norwegian. I have not been able to take care of the child since I'm away at work all day. I accept the child is taken away from me and sent to a better place. Um, this is the church that we put up since the father is a German soldier. Uh, for the occupied Norway, well, has accepted all costs for the child and will arrange for the future uh, accommodation for the child in the best possible way. We will endeavor to place the child in relatively with relatives in Germany. Okay. You got this is a lot of fucking reading. Uh, I attached the letter of the UNRRA, blah, 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 tracing bureau, asking about. Okay, still in Germany. The children are presumed to be born outside the wedlock by Norwegian mothers and German fathers. They ask whether Norway is interested in taking these children back, no uh, back to Norway. As far as I understood, understand, from our previous letters, nothing will be done from Norway's side to take these children back if no relatives ask for them. Uh, I will also add that... Add that the French are taking home all the children born of French mothers, no matter if the relatives ask for this. We would like to hear which principle the Norwegian government wishes to follow in the better. Uh, we're searching for the mother of KF, blah, blah, Lauren, okay. We have heard that she is now living in, okay. I would appreciate any information you might have about her address with regards to Norwegian Red Cross. Uh, we have been informed that a Norwegian child is living with you and asked you to fill this questionnaire. Name of child. 
Na 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 na. Minister of Social Affairs, to whom it may concern, the Norwegian government has decided Norwegian child, children born out of wedlock, a Norwegian mother and a German father, sent to Germany during the German occupation, are now to be taken home to Norway. La 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 la. The children will be temporarily take be taken care of by the Norwegian Red Cross. Okay. Jesus Christ, how much more do I have to read? Okay, just. One more, right? Okay. Mr. William, whatever. Uh, the Norwegian government has decided that all the children of Norwegian mothers are to be sent back to Norway. Delivery, deliver the child, K, K, blah, 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 for the transport of Norway before January 10th. We will refund the cost for the child and, and an adult, all, and, and an adult, although we understand that many care, uh, care, care, carers might find it hard to give up these children. We would like to remind you that these Norwegian citizens, that these are Norwegian citizens, and that you should think of the future of these children. We therefore expect you to be loyal to this decision and not create a need for additional bureaucratic work. Oh, okay, sounds like someone just didn't want to do their fucking job. Um. Okay, I see with joy that you are looking for me regarding my child. We should love to have the child back to us, but are afraid that we cannot afford to travel the travel expenses as we have just married. The child, as far as I know, now lives in... Uh-huh. Uh... Okay, now what? I'm not gonna lie to you, so I don't know what the hell all that paperwork does it just mean that so at the end of the day like the grandparents had like a funny way they actually gay they actually cared I, I don't know you guys have your own take on that I feel bad because I gotta just let them just shit all over me I just kind of ignore them for the most part. Nobody cares about that. All right. Let's go to bed, sweetheart. Watch this. Ugh. Okay. My kid has psychological problems. It's too late, sweetheart. Sorry. I know, baby girl. We'll do something fun tomorrow, I promise. I made you a little bow. We could take the boat for a little... For a little, you know, little boat ride, you know, have fun with that. Morning. Oh my god, okay, let's eat something, sweetheart. Oh, we have no fucking food, I'm so sorry. Let me buy something. Oh, crap. Mm. Oh, yes, berries. Give me the berries. So many berries. Awesome. I didn't think we'd find any berries today. Daddy's got good eyes, sweetheart. Can we go fishing? How about that? Yes. Let's play with the boat. Ooh. Nice. Boats have fun. It's Sunday today, so no school or work. Could we maybe do something nice? Mm. Actually, I want to tell you something. Is something wrong? Yes, yesterday your aunt gave me documents about you from when you were just a baby. Really? It was your dad's parents, your other grandparents, who were taking care of you when you were a baby. Oh, this. Oh, okay. So that's what that means. So you lived in Germany for a while with your gr with your grandparents. Oman remembers. Remember, that's why you knew these strange words. Oh, I. I remember that Oma oh my oh my I don't know it was really nice so maybe I have a nice grandparents too in Germany I'll send them a letter but they'll be thrilled I bet they'll be thrilled I'll contact them but you shouldn't expect anything okay so this this kind of this is kind of going full circle here I like that I'm going to try and contact them maybe their answer here we go with that one I hope so. Thank you for telling me. Of course. 
Now, did you want to draw? Mm, do you want to play hide and seek? Mm, let's go just, of course. Let's fish for a little bit. I need to get some food, dude, seriously. Yes! Advanced angler. Fishing is fun. Alright. And. Yes! Another fish! I caught a fish. No, no, no you, over you caught a fish. Yeah, daddy caught a fish. Okay. We should be. We should head back home then. Uh, we had a lot of fun, huh? Yes. Awesome. So happy. I'm tired. Okay, baby girl, hang on. Okay. Let's get in bed. No time for a story today. No, maybe tomorrow, sweetheart. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and cook. So, like I said, this kind of thing just kind of went full circle, which is very nice. This will save me some money. Mm. I'm, uh, I'm so hungry. Uh -huh. The parade is this week. I'm so sorry, baby girl. Give me a second. Let's feed you here. Eat. I don't you want to see what you got in the mail? I will in a second, baby. Oh my god. Fine. See, nothing important. It was garbage. Moving along. Look, we got more mail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sit, sit down. Please eat. Eat. Awesome. And bath time. Sundays I can actually do this shit. Vigorously. So I'm gonna start ignoring, like I said, I'm gonna, there's a journal that like does a lot of uh, background information about the history and whatnot about this uh, stuff that's going on in the world during this time period. And uh, it's a very sweet, wholesome journal. I'm actually just gonna do a video about that and just separately. That way we don't have to constantly look at journal entries. I see you have to school. Do your best to do. Okay. Did you dip out? No, not yet. Okay. And before you dip out, let's just do this for Come on, go up. No, okay, fine. Why are you moping? What do you mean, why is she moping? What's wrong? Hey, let's have some dinner. <laughs> Just completely ignore the fact that she's... What's wrong? I saw some of the... I saw some of the, I saw some of the kids from my class. The ones that bully me. I said some mean things. They were saying that I can't go to the parade. Can they hurt us? Of course not. I don't know. I would like to see them try. I'm kind of scared. I don't blame you, sweetheart. Uh, where this? There you go, baby girl. Do you, you want to draw with me? Yes, I would like that. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's a freaking fish. Because we went fishing. That is so wholesome. Okay, as an adult, I think, personally, I can draw a lot more better there. I'm like, at least color in between the lines, dude. What the fuck? I was always very anal about that. It's getting late. You didn't even eat lunch or dinner. You know, just, you know, just go to bed. Story before sleep would be nice. Mm, it's too late, huh? 
Let's go check the mail. And you know, I'm gonna do one journal entry for shits and giggles for you guys. Just one. Uh, let's read this too while we're at it. Right, grandparents. Uh, the documents from your aunt Anna. Uh, the documents from the from Aunt Annie gave the address for Karen's grandparents as her blah blah. Right. Okay. Hello. Hello, I am reaching out to you from Norway. I am the adoptive parent of your grandchild, Karen. I have learned that she lived with you for some years. For some years, she still remembers her Oma. Uh, our Oma. I, I might be wrong. I don't know. Hey, somebody correct me. Uh, and longs to hear about her. Father, could you help? Okay, so this is... Uh, so this is the journal, and like it stems back a lot, like seriously, and it's it's really informative. Let's see here. Yeah, it goes like, like the church, like this one, the church won't even help us because of uh, the the background nationality of your child. So it's just that it's fucked. Um, when you're trying to figure out who her, you know, family members are and shit, uh, she changed her mind. I'm so happy for you. You should remember that. Uh, you should remember this gesture. Uh, it must mean that she cares for you after all. So her mother actually. Uh, so her mother said, "Fuck no! I have a new life. I don't cannot be. Uh, I can't be involved with my past mistakes or anything like that. Please don't ever contact me ever again." And then the mom kind of actually regretted what she said and actually contacts us. And you know, so that's what this is entry is about. I'm so happy for you. You should remember this gesture. It must mean that she cares for you after all. She didn't have to do this. Let's hope that your grandparents are also in in the Christmas mood and willing to help us. Your father. It feels really good to finally learn something about your father. Now we know that, we, that he was a regular soldier who cared for your mother. He was 19 and in love. Uh, your aunt also liked him, so he must have been a decent person. Decent, pleasant young man. Let's hope that we can get even more information from your grandparents. You are so brave. I know I was about to say just doing one, but I haven't read this in a while. Sorry. I think I think you're brave, Karen. I'm very proud of you. But I'm also seeing how this winter has changed you. I wonder if moving away would help. But I have no reason to think that we'd have better luck somewhere else. At least, at least here we know that you're facing. At least here we know what you're facing. Let's hope spring and warmer weather will make everyone more friendly. Yeah, highly unlikely. What kind of horse crap are you trying to feed this child? <laughs> trying to install them with hope and bravery. That maybe, you know, they can overcome this trial and endeavor. You'll be able to overcome anything, kid. Do you know that? That hedgehog hibernate. Hibernate? Mm hmm. That's nice, honey. <laughs> mm hmm. That's nice, honey. Anyway, check out this ball. Do you want to play with the ball? I did not know. I did not. You know everything, don't you? That's why we don't see them in winter. Okay. Alright, well. Enough of that. Here. Just eat. <laughs> Can we forge again? No? Okay. Um. Let's fill with the ball. Okay. Um. I hope I learned something fun today. Take care. I'll try. Alright, let's go to work. But like four hundred and ten dollars. See, forging and like fishing, getting berries and fishing helped me out a lot. I got like four hundred and ten. Ah, uh, she's doing okay. Mr. Berg was acting a little old today. Do you want me to have a talk with him? What did he say? It's probably nothing. Don't worry. He said that I need to stay strong, and that I should always be eager to learn. What did he mean by that? Do you want me to talk with him? This seems sad. Probably some. Probably nothing special. Yeah, you want me to talk? Mm, no, no, no. That's okay. I 
I should have asked that he seems sad when he said that. Mr. Berg seems like a very, very good-natured person who doesn't care what nation. Clearly, he does not care what nationality your child is. Uh, he probably feels that your child should be educated no matter what the heck. He he's doing his his job is to educate children, and it seems like he gives a fuck. Versus, the other teacher didn't really care. Back at 150, god damn it. Is this for me? That's so cool. Thank you. I'll put it in my room. No, no, no. I want you to play with it. God damn it. What's the point of me getting all these toys for you, huh? Tell me that. Tell me. Just, just tell me. Please. For my own sake and sanity, kid. Can you tell me? I'm gonna die. Getting tired of washing your face. I want my bed. Okay, you can have your bed. I got mail. I don't have any mail. That's right. Could you read me? Oh, of course. This time I will. You yeah, remember that story I was telling you about? About the tree and the boy, right? So the, the boy just kind of kept taking, taking, taking. And the tree just kept giving, giving, giving. So the whole moral of the story of the giving tree, right? Was that at the end of the day, when you give so much, you'll have nothing left. So, alright? So let's go to bed. Good night. <laughs> Toy Union, little truck driver. Good morning, I'm ready for today. Here we got mail. Nothing important. So much mail. Yeah, nothing important though, kid. Alright. I never did fix this, huh? Forgot all about it, actually. Two hundred twenty. So how much? How much money? Okay, so I made two hundred twenty. How much money am I making every turn? I wonder. What happened? Mr. Berg told us this today that he's not going to be our teacher. We'll get some some stranger. Mr. Solham, he was also here today. Uh, maybe he won't be so bad. Because well, sometimes they change teachers. What else did he say? He was mean. Scolded me for talking back when I didn't talk back at all. What? I'll put him in his place. Fuck yeah. Please don't come to school. What? <laughs> it will make me stand out. I didn't see that coming. I thought the teacher would... I, I just talked up the teacher too, man. I just talked good about the teacher and he goes ahead and he gets replaced by an asshole. Uh, well, I really think we should move now. We're fucked. He was the only thing basically protecting my daughter from getting bullied and picked on, and now that's taken away. Taken away. God damn it. Okay, remember 220. I wanted to see how much money I'm getting. Uh, she looks so sad. I feel bad. I don't want a new teacher. Don't be sad, honey. You just have to get used to it. Mr. Sullen might be just as good as Mr. Berg. I highly doubt that. Just don't be sad. I really don't like Mr. Solheim. Solheim? Im, Te the teacher's last day is the parade. Try to get some sleep. We'll figure the figure this out tomorrow. Get some sleep. Can you read me it? N uh, sure. Fuck it. Why not? Dad, I really wish you wouldn't curse when I asked you to read a story. <laughs> Please don't read me the story about the giving tree. It's really bad. <laughs> 
I get some sleep, kiddo. My god, I I don't know what to do, man. Seriously, this is kind of getting out of hand for me. Like, seriously, what would you guys do? Tell me. Hmm. Good morning. I'm not speaking to you. What? You don't want that. I don't want that tone from you. I understand you must be upset. Take the time you need. Oh dear, what did I do? I'm sorry. <laughs> You're always sorry. Oh shit. I don't want to go. Just try to get through the day. It'll be it'll be fine. It'll only be for a short while. Don't be sad. I won't. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Welcome home. Damn it. Okay, so... 220 220 30 40 50 60 70 So I'm making like 55 bucks a turn I guess If I'm going based off of like 220 how much I had originally versus when I was spinning crap yeah but yeah, so that's how much. Anyways, okay. Um, okay. Mm, anything else I can buy? Nope, that's it. Alright. Uh, okay. You gotta eat, sweetheart. I'm sorry. I don't know. I wish, again, like my favorite thing is I wish we can go fishing and crap. Yawn. Right. <sighs> the parade is tomorrow. It is. I can't wait. Oh, now you're back to being happy. Good. Now you want to talk to me. Good night. Yeah, good night, sweetheart. Don't ask for a story, please. Thank God. Let's open up the mail. The plans for the upcoming national parade continue with local school children all looking forward to the waving their flags to celebrate of our Constitution Day. A uh, parade route is planned, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Alright. What is that? I, I read all that already. Alrighty. Uh oh, what's going on? Uh, closet. No, uh, bathroom. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, thank God. Oh, <coughs> well, there you are. Um, sorry for going earlier. I was so excited to wait. People are looking really happy. I don't see Mr. Berg anywhere. Karen, you can't just leave like that. I'm sorry. You don't look fucking sorry. I was just so excited. I even brought my flag. Oh, the kids are lining up. I have to go over there. Karen, wait. You know, okay, have fun. She's gonna get fucking bullied, I swear. God damn it. My ribbon! They said I wasn't allowed to be here and trampled on my ribbon. You were there, right? You were right. It was dumb to come here. I want to go home. Oh, honey, it's okay. Let's go. Now that we're here, we should stay. I don't want to. Karen. Hello. I'm so sorry I couldn't find you. 
I saw what the other treasure did to your nice ribbon. I gave them a stern talking to. Mr. Berg, oh, uh, you did? To behave like that on our Constitution Day. I'll make sure they get detention. Please don't. They'll just take it out on me. I'll think about it, but of course, I don't want you to get in trouble. Ah, oh, hello there. You must be Karen's parent. So nice to be finally meet you in person. You have such a wonderful girl. Oh, you must be the teacher of Karen. Always talks about. Karen is one of my best students. She is very bright for her age. She doesn't deserve the way they treat her, but... Uh, but don't worry. I'm doing what I can to keep her sa uh, keep her as safe as possible. Thank you for everything you've done. That's very good to hear. No. I should thank you for raising such a kind child. Not all parents manage that. Not enough, maybe. And not enough, maybe. Anyway, Karen, should we join the parade? Yes, please. Don't worry, I'll take good care of her. Here, Karen, you can have my ribbon. And don't forget to have your flag. That... That is fucking adorable. Like, my god. Yeah, you put that in your fucking journal. The photo album, that needs to get put in there. That was very wholesome. Uh, yeah, this game really knows how to tug on your feels, man. Seriously, it's fucking ridiculous. Um, that was amazing. Did you see all the people? And all the flags, I really enjoyed the parade. You were right. You were right about your teacher being nice. I told you he was nice. He had a really good t We had a really good time. I'm glad you had fun. Mm-hmm. You get- you got to meet Mr. Berg. I would- I don't know why I never met him fucking sooner. What the hell? Sleepy. Right, can we eat first? Right, you know what, screw it. Just go to bed. Today was a great day. I wish more people could be like Mr. Berg. People don't have to be mean. They choose to. Most people are stupid. Focus on the nice ones. Yes, Mr. Berg is a good man. And yeah, a life lessoner. I'd never choose to be mean. The other kids hate me, but kids are stupid, right? But how come all the neighbors hate me? And my grandparents hate me? They're adults. Adults are supposed to be smart. I don't get it. They don't even know me. And you and Mr. Berg are the only nice adults. And Mr. Berg is leaving. And my parents left me too. Oh my god. I'm glad I have you. Oh, please don't leave me. Fuck. <laughs> Oh my god, I would never abandon you. I'm not going to leave you, Karen. I'm here for you. I'm not going anywhere. Fuck yeah. Okay. A story before- Oh my god, do you have time? Of course. Fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck me. My god, that really hit me in the fucking feels. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys have no idea. <laughs> oh, is the chapter over yet? Like, I, 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 I need this chapter to be over. I don't know how much of this I can. Oh, thank god. You and 32% of others avoided conflict with the grandparents. You and 79% of others brought the flag. You and 64% of others allowed Karen to go to the parade. Yeah. Oh my god. Alright, people, that is the end of this chapter. We will pick this up next time. I'm very curious how long this took me to do it. Here I am. Good morning. Sorry to interrupt your outro, Dad. But anyways, uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I will be doing more of this in the future just for the hell of it because I'm very curious how this is going to end and how I have my choices, how my choices are going to affect the ending of this story. Um, yeah, fuck, this is one of those games, that it, it is like a very much an emotional kind of roller coaster, especially for your child here, and uh, yeah, it's just something crazy to just have to watch and read and figure out how the hell you're gonna go about everything, 
and uh yeah it's just it's 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 just so fucking awesome man it really is but we'll pick this up next time i'll watch you guys bye bye for now feel free to like comment and subscribe like i said for more little shenanigan videos okay have a nice one bye